Hi everybody, this is Evergreen again, and I am waiting for Google Code Jam to start. Okay, almost there, almost there. Yeah, okay, now I can compete. So, let's start with the first problem. I can pause the video for you to read the description, or you can just head to the website and read it yourself. Okay. Okay, so this is a basic skeleton for reading information from the file. Here we just read all the lines from this file and run get input. And inside this get input, we are dealing with a strange um, format of the uh, file, which is at the beginning it should show the uh, uh, kilometers that we have and then how many horses we have. And then for each of the horses, the position and speed. After we um, read information about all the horses, we uh, get the speed from solve. So right now it just returns one to three. And then we are providing the output. So considering that we have this skeleton, now we can start solving. Uh, the uh, general approach is to understand the problem first before writing the code so let's draw our road the road has coordinates from zero to test which is passed to solve function then here we are it's the position of us we will call it me and somewhere here we have horse A, and let's just uh, fill that with information from the first example. So our position is zero and uh, speed is unknown. As for the other horse, position is this and speed is this. We can put uh, kilometers if you want, kilometers per hour. And then destination is here at 2525 so knowing that now uh, we can write a few formulas velocity equals distance divided by time so time equals distance divided by velocity Okay, so now the uh, uh, time required for uh, horse A to reach destination would be destination minus point A, because the distance is only this part, uh, divided by velocity A, by this value. So let's substitute variables with actual uh, values. It's 25. Now, uh, let's uh, calculate the velocity. So, velocity of me is uh, destination, because we don't, we have zero as a starting point, divided by 25, uh, or TA. And it would be uh, 25, 25 divided by 25, 101. And that's the result which we have also. Okay, that's simple. So now let's take a look at a bit more complicated example, which is example number two with uh, two horses and distance uh, 300 kilometers. I've already provided um, schematics for that. So let's just look at the data. So our position is still here. Uh, we have two horses. The first one is at the uh, position 60 with uh, speed 90. And then horse B, uh, position 120 and speed 60. So uh, the station is here. I've added one more point here is where those two horses will meet because in the uh, uh, second horse, horse B, has smaller speed than horse A. It means that horse A will meet uh, somewhere on horse B. 
because it's faster. Okay, now let's calculate this x. We know that it would take them the same time to reach x, and uh, we can just write the equations for those times, and um, from that we can derive the position. Okay, so first the uh, time, time to x, is uh, for the horse, horse A, uh, it would be um, x minus A, this distance, divided by uh, VA, which is velocity over the horse A. Now, uh, again, the same Tx would be x minus B, divided by VB, and they are equal, so we can say that those two guys are the same. Now, let's do some manipulations here. Uh, multiply by uh, VB and VA. Now let's open those brackets. Now let's collect those with X and with those without X in opposite sides. So we will have... So now we can tell that X is this divided by this. Okay, let's substitute that with uh, the actual values. 40. So, we got 240, which is less than 300. It means that horse A will run with speed 90 until it meets horse B here, and then both horses uh, will continue with speed 60. So we can have a good comment here. Uh, so this is less than 300, oops, 300, and it means that B is slower, and A will slow down. Okay. So basically we need that just to know whether the two horses will meet before destination point or after. Okay, now why do we need that? We need that to know what would be uh, the um, uh, final travel time for horses A and B. And now we know that we can just use the speed of horse B uh, to calculate the time. Let's do that. So time uh, for the horse B would be um, destination minus B divided by VB. And it will be um, 300 minus 120 divided by 60. And that is 3 three hours. So now we know that and we can use this time to calculate the velocity of the of our horse. And it would be velocity equals destination divided by three in this case or T B and it would be 300 divided by 3, which is 100. So that's exactly the correct answer. Okay, so now let's do the same, but for the third example. And the third example has um, also two horses, but they are a bit different. So here, the first horse has um, lower speed than second horse and uh, this x will be different. Let's calculate that. Sixty-eight something. So, sixty-eight is less than seventy. It means that this horse A will never reach horse B, because it's 
it's quite obvious, but still, its uh, speed is much less than the uh, uh, bee's speed, and they will just never meet. The horse B will reach destination much faster. So now we have to calculate the uh, time uh, of all horses, except for ours, uh, until the destination uh, based on the uh, horse A's time. Okay, so time A would be uh, 100 minus 70, which is uh, 30. 30 divided by 10, which is 3. And now we can get the speed of our horse, which would be our velocity equals 100 divided by 3, which is 33. Okay, so now we've proven that the calculations are correct and we can continue with the solution. Okay, so what do we have? We have two things. The destination, which is a length, length of the road, and then the array of horses with uh, the position and speed. Let's sort that. Um, sorted horses. Let's sort that by key. And it will be a sort by position. And then let's reverse that. So that we have this uh, horse first and then this horse second. Because we have to go from the uh, right part or uh, the part which is closer to destination. And then um, start looking at other horses from right to left. Okay, so now let's introduce a few other variables, such as uh, B and VB. So this would be uh, the slowest horse, and um, we will just take the um, first one. And then we will iterate through the rest of the horses. Means that it will be uh, A and uh, VA in sort of horses except for the first one. And here we will calculate that. Now let's compare x to um, destination. So if x is greater than destination, means that they meet somewhere here. They will not meet uh, before the destination on, on this um, short uh, part of the road, but they will meet somewhere here. And another one is that if x is less than a, like uh, if they uh, kind of meet here, but they are not going backwards, uh, but it, it would definitely uh, uh, mean that um, the horse A is slower. So if either horse A is slower or horse A is uh, not going to meet horse B on this part of the road. Um, meaning that horse A will become a limitation factor for our horse now. So now let's swap them. Not, not exactly swap, but just update the B. Okay. So whenever we are doing the division, it's a good, uh, good practice to check that we are not dividing by zero. So in this case, uh, we might have horses with uh, exactly the same speed. So let's just consider that case. Uh, if uh, VB is the same as VA, then what we are doing? If they are running with the same speed, then we are just updating uh, VA unconditionally. Uh, sorry, VB with uh, VA. Else we are doing that. Okay, considering that, we can calculate the time for this horse. Uh, let's use this formula here. So, time for B, yeah, yeah, it's actually B. So, that perfectly fits our case. Now, 
let's calculate our time, which would be uh, this. Destination divided by TB. And let's just return that. Uh, v me. We can also print that. V me and um, sorted horses. Let's run. So we have exactly the same numbers as in the um, example. And now we can uh, try to submit that stuff. Okay, let's use the other one. And let's run that. So one thing which I found is that we have an exception. Probably that's because we are using integers. It's a good practice to always add uh, this floating point zero uh, just to make sure that we are okay. Okay, we didn't have any exceptions anymore. Everything went perfectly well. Uh, but now, now let's try to submit our solution. Yay! Accepted! Yay! Accepted! So this worked perfectly well, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and wait for other videos, and yes, yeah, don't forget to click this bell button. Okay, bye bye, all the best.